All right, let me uh, talk to you about the uh, class exercise number six. This is part one of, of uh, class exercise number six with it. Um, there's basically, we're talking about the file path in here, and I don't know if you remember, but the um, beginning of the course, I, I showed you, uh, I did a video on DOS with it as well. So let me just walk you through. A lot of this is similar with it uh, in this file. With me to start out with, you're gonna. Um, I gave you a compressed file that you need to download. So in the instruction, I spell it out to you and what you need to do. But in task, there's two tasks, and there's task A and there's task B. In task A, I have like five of these HTML for HTML files in here, and uh, they're compressed. They're zipped up in the file structure that I have for you to download. Uh, with in task B, you're gonna create a file called links.html with it. So all together there's six files that you're going to be working on plus the index page that adds up to be seven files with the main index page with it as well. So let me step back and, and explain to you with what you're doing with this right now with it. Um, and I'd like for you to um, just follow along and what we what we do here with it. Um, so if you can please um, come down here and let me, let me take a look at it. Um, with it. So I walk you through, this is what you should start out, it's your file structure. It looks like this right now with it. And um, like I said, the only file that's standing outside is this index.html page with it. So the first part i like for you to do is, I, you, you, much, most of you should have watched this video uh, that I did on the uh, file management. And if not, if you haven't done it, remember to do it. The key thing is to go into the DOS environment and just do exactly what I told you to do and ask you to do with the uh, navigating inside and out of the of the DOS environment with it. And the other key thing is that you need to um, you need to work on is to make note of that dot dot directory uh, that subdirectory uh, that in, when you create a directory with it. So would you please um, know what that is? I took a screenshot of even in FileZilla you have a dot dot subdirectory that's inside after you log in with it and that if you click on that it takes it to the parent directory so anyways please watch this video that I have underneath here that's under task um, A management if you forget what that is just go in and you can understand what I mean by that with it as well and I gave you a little bit more descriptive of what you need to do with it uh, a key note that I want you I would like for you to know is make sure you understand what is a file path. A file path is basically a location of a file in a website folder structure with it. So in this particular exercise you're going to be doing is you're going to link to an image um, inside of a subdirectory and you're going to access it in different levels of the directory and how you, how you linked with it as well. So that's one. You're going to link to an external web page. You, you've been doing this all this time with it. Um, you, know, you can do an external web page. You're going to link back and forth from your uh, some of these pages to the main index page as well. The, the third bullet and the fourth bullet we're going to complete in a style sheet that I'm going to have you do an exercise called Bootstrap, which is a different technology. And we're going to do the same similar thing in the JavaScript as well. It's, that's going to be in a JavaScript assignment. So mainly for this assignment, you're going to do these two right now with it as well. So um, I broke it down to the tasks and tasks for what you're going to do is you're going to write a path from the file and to that image from the subdirectory below or, at or above the file. The second thing is you're going to write an external path from the file to an image on a web server that I already created for you. Uh, so linking it to the web server, pulling it down with it. And the third is you're going to write your all of your HTML pages needs to actually have a link back to the index main index page. Okay. So um, and it walk you through this again. I'm not, I'm not going to bore you to read this, but the first step here is basically um, you need to log on to eCampus and find eCampus, find uh, the the link that we have uh, for the class exercise. And if you come down here and you click on your class exercise number six, and you should see download this file uh, federal underscore level dot zip. You click on it, and I'm using Firefox, so I'm going to click on this. This is going to download in my directory up here with it. So if you could, um, this is what it looks like in here right now with it. And here's what I would like for you to do. Uh, if you take this, make sure you right mouse click on it. I gave you a zip file. Right mouse click on it and extract all. You, know, you have to extract this. Just take the default path for this and click on extract. 
and it takes a few seconds. And this is what I'm, I want to show you is this. Inside of this directory, it has subdirectories and a file, two subdirectories and a file. Now, it's very important if you look up here what I'm pointing at here. If I click on this level, I see it at, so what, when I zip this file, what WinZip does is the operating so it creates a subdirectory with it. So this is the level I want you to mount. Don't love, don't, don't, don't mount it at this level because there's a subdirectory called federal level inside of this as well. So go inside this, make sure you mount this one right here. This is the one I like for you to mount is this. Because if I click on this one, it takes me to this too. So make sure you do the nested one is the federal level, not this one. You see where my mouse is hovering? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna right mouse click on it, copy it. All right, I'm just gonna copy it. I'd like for you to find the directory that you uh, have been working on all this time with uh, with your class. Remember now, your your local directories here have to match exactly what's on the um, web server as well. So let me just navigate to where we're at. This is where I'm at with it. So I would like to you know this is what my structure looks like. I would like for you to create a subdirectory with today's date on there. And today's date is 030420. It's arbitrary what the date is. It doesn't matter when you do this with it. But it's at this level, I would like for you to paste that federal level right there. So if I would like to show you, is look, it would look like something like this. All right. So let me expand this and make sure that your structure, your file structure, looks like this. If I expand this, it needs to goes from today's date, which is my date right now, zero three zero four twenty. It doesn't matter what date you have. And underneath it, you have federal level. There should be only one folder. It's called federal level. Okay. Make sure it looks like this before you move on. You cannot have two federal level subdirectories like you when you extracted with as well. Okay, so take a second to do that. If you want me to pause the computer, pause the video, then now is the time to pause. All right, I'm going to stop the the video right now because I don't want to run over.